welcome back to the colouring zone my name is Helena um, so I'm doing my completed pages so it's actually for um, January and February um, the first one I'd like to show you is from Clara Makova's postcard it's I believe in fairies and I did this one here so I used pastel um, for the background and I used a combination of Derwent Lightfast and also Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils. I also used um, some ink tents for this part, so it's very much sort of different pencils. I've also used a bit of sparkle and um, for the dots, and I think I used the Sakura um, gold gel pen. So the skin, I used the Luminance pencils. Um, I'm really practicing with um, my skin tones and it is a little bit patchy, um, but I'm quite happy with the overall effect. So um, that was a nice one to do. Um, I also used one of the pencils from the Peter Rabbit postcard book that I got that included the pencils. So I actually used a couple of pencils from this pack here. Um, I did actually um, speak about these briefly in my haul video so if you've not seen that one I'll um I'll link it um at the top so there's that one so talking about this book here so I did do one out of this one so I used um the Paul Rubens watercolor for this one and um I realized that actually I really need to have like a, an actual um palette rather than just doing it directly from from the set so I used these watercolours here. Um, they're really nice colours. It's quite small and compact, which is nice. Um, so I had fun with that one. I do plan to actually go over some of it in a bit of um, coloured pencils. So with this postcard book, it's... So that was like sort of like inspiration and I have used some of the colours. Um, so that was a fun one to do. Um, as I said, I do want to add some a bit more detail onto that one. So this one here is a miniature um, Enchanted Forest by Joanna Basford. So I only got this one here recently um, and I tested some pencils. They're Faber-Castell Classics and they come in a set like this. Um, I was actually enabled by um, Imogen from The Colouring Kid. Um, she talks quite highly about these pencils and um, I thought it'd be quite nice to have this so I can go upstairs and it's sort of quite compact. So the page that I've done in here and it was just using those pencils is this one here. So it was a really, really quick one. I just did it in the evening. Um, and I'm also working on this one. I am using a bit of fine liner with this one. So that will probably be in next month's completed pages. Because I've still got a little bit to do on that one. So this one here is um, Disney Art Deco. So I did Mr. Smee. Um, I used um, the Statler 36 double-ended um, fiber tip pens. So it's these ones. I just used a, like, a couple of colors just to sort of base it. And then I went over a little bit with pencils. It's not actually finished. I think I could do a bit more with this one, um, but it's quite recent. So um, I need to get back to that one. So that's also a whip. So my next book is Disney Portraits. So I was enabled by um, Colouring F for this book. So I purchased it um, a couple of months ago. So this one here, so I did Snow White and I used, I used um, my Crayola Super Tips as a base for the dress and then I went over with Prisma colours. It was really quick and easy, um, it didn't take me very long. Do you know what, I noticed that when I'm doing skin tones and I'm doing it in the evening, obviously I don't have natural daylight and now I'm in the natural daylight, it does look a bit more patchy than what I thought it was. So it's something to consider really that maybe I should be doing skin tones in the daylight as opposed to in the evening or maybe come back to it um, just to check that it's all sort of smooth. So this one here, um, I actually included this one here in my haul. So there's quite, there's a few Japanese colouring books um, that I got. So I will link that that um, video in, in, in this one so you can click on it. So this one here is really fun, quick and easy. And sorry, I did actually tag it. but So I used, so I did this one here and I used polychromos for this one. 
Um, it's quite a small, small little area, but it was just so simple. And I did ask my husband, do you think I should add a background? And he was saying, no, actually, it looks really nice how it is. So I might leave it like that. Um, but yeah, it's quite a quite quick, cute one to do. So I enjoyed that one. So this one here is Waltz for the Seasons, and this is by Kanuku Agusa. So this also was one of my um, books that I sh sh showed in my haul. So this one here was all Prismacolors. Um, I felt like I'd neglected them a little bit. So um, I did the little bunny. And yeah, I'm really happy with how it came out. I used a dual metallic, one of the mellow colours um on the polka dots on the little bunny's raincoat um so i think it came out quite sweet and i used a little bit of glaze on the um on the little bubbles so that was a nice one to do so there's that one so this one here is romantic country and it's by eerie it is the first one um i believe it's the first one so i did this page here um i really enjoyed this one um i used i used pencils completely pencils for the background and i used prismacolors for the branches and the bows um i also used my paul reuben paints um the ones that i shared i'll just show you again so th these ones i used a couple of colors so i followed um I followed uh, Olivia Odorant's um, um, where she demonstrated how to, to how to do the grass, um, and I have used a little bit of pencils on top of it. Um, I used the polychromos on top of it, and I added some a bit of detail to the little girl's um, clothing. So I used the Arteza um, gel pens just to add some a few dots so that was a nice one to do just enjoyed that one it's so much quicker using the watercolor i also used the watercolor on the bushes as well um so yeah i i want to get a bit more practice and then maybe i can get a bit a bit smoother with it and then perhaps i could leave it rather than going over it with pencil but we'll see so the next one really really popular so it came out this is roby um roby kirby roseanne's book so this is fragile world absolutely beautiful book and i did this page here so this is my oh this is my first um first page from kirby roseanne's book that I've actually completed. So I'm really pleased with this. I used Distress Inks for the Rhino as a base, and then I also used it for the trees. So it was a little bit quicker doing that. Um, I used my Neo Color 2s for the background and then went over it with pencil. Again, it's something I'm still really, very much learning. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed it. Nice one to do. So there's that one. And going on the same theme, I also did another page in um, Kirby Roseanne's book. So this is Worlds Within Worlds. And I did this one here. So I did the background first and I used the new, um, one of the new colours I got for um, a neo colour is called aubergine so i did that first and then i realized it was it was quite patchy and although i'd done a couple of layers it wasn't sort of smoothing out as i wanted it to so rather than going over it with acrylic paint which i did think about i actually went over with one of the black um neo colors and i actually really liked the effect so that was quite a good one lesson learned really that sometimes you know it might not turn out how you want it to but actually you can save it so i used the distress inks for the back for the um for the bird and i also used it for the water as well um i actually used the brush um so i used a brush like this um just to sort of base everything and it made it so much quicker and then I went over it with um with polychromos and the globe I did with 
um, Prismacolors or Prismacolors. I added a bit of coloured pencil to the um, to the water, but not very much. I used Gansai Tanvi watercolours for the actual outside of the globe and for some of these chains. And I've noticed that I have missing a few a few bits um, where I've not coloured in, so I should really do that. Um, but yeah, really nice one to do. Really enjoyed it. It was actually quite quick really and I think the next page I would really like to do in this book is the one opposite so the flamingos um yeah so this one here I'm working in at the moment it is actually a whip um so I've used neo colors for the background so I'm in quite early stages at the moment so you you will see this one next month in my completed pages so I used neo colors for the background and then I've gone over it with pencil and I really I really beautiful colors um so yeah I'm I'm looking looking forward to finishing that one so my next book is Summer Night, and this is by Hannah Carlson. So this one here, um, I actually used gelatos for the background. Now, rather, rather than um, activating it with water, I actually just put it on directly, and then I used my finger to smudge it. It is a little bit patchy and I do I think I do need a lot more practice with the gelatos but um yeah I quite like the effect anyway, I like the colours. I used Prisma colours for the frog and then I've also added black um fine liner and also the um Karen's KJ design watercolour. I think this is called the Comet set. So absolutely beautiful to work with. If I tilt it a little bit, you might be able to see it. I also used the Arteza um, glitter gel pens as well on this one. Oh, I had a bit of a disaster. <laughs> so um, I, I'm a bit clumsy, if I'm honest, because I put them like close to me and then I think I moved the page and it actually fell on on top of it. <laughs> and then I um I tried to sort of pick them up and I ended up putting it underneath the book and then got it on here. So that was quite funny. So the next one is a Hannah Carlson book as well. So this is Tales from the Midnight Masquerade. Um this one here is relatively new. I can't remember when it came out, but um yeah, so I did this double page spread. So I used polychromos for the skin and polychromos for the hair. And I think, that, to be honest, I think the majority of it was all polychromos apart from this frill was definitely Prismacolors. I used ink tents as a base um, for this part and this part. Um, really fun to do. I'm really happy with the skin. I'm, I can see, I can see that there is progress there. So I'm quite pleased with that. I wasn't sure whether to 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 put a background um, on, and I'm looking at it now. I still don't know whether I should add a background. Um, if you could, you know, I would love to to know what you think. Do you think I need to add a background? I've used dual metallic on some parts, so. On here, I don't, if I tilt it, you might be able to see it. Um, so, yeah, really fun one. And some gel pen as well, some white gel pen. It was probably the um, Unibor Signo. But, yeah, it dropped me, a, dropped me a line in the comments whether you think I should add a background or not. That would be really nice to hear from you. So, the next one is Fairy Touch of Magic. Now, this is also by Clara Makova. Um And the one that I did was this one. So I used a mixture of polychromos and prismacolors. I used neo colors for the background and then went over it in pencil. It is such a bright page. I really like that actually. But I've also used stickles for some of the little bobbles. Um, it did take me a little while to do, but really enjoyed it and it's, it's fun. So there's that one.
So also by Clara Mykova and Fairy Miracles. So I did this one here. So I used Neo Colours um, for the background and then went over it with um, with pencil with Prisma Colours. The rest of it done was done with Prisma Colours also. The skin is 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 I did this quite late and um, I can see that it's. It's a bit, it's a bit patchy, but it looks okay. I like the, I like the overall effect anyway. So that was a fun one to do. And so I also did another page from from this book. So it was the um, the honeybee girl. I actually saw um, Debbie had done this. I think it was last month that she had. Um, She'd she'd shared it in either a complete pages or she was doing it as a as a sort of a colour along. But I really like this one. Um, I didn't follow um, any of her colours or anything. I just watched her video. But um, yeah, so I used neo colours for the background. I did not go over it in pencil. I I'm quite happy with it. I mean, you can see some, but I think really with the neo colours. I'm starting to realise that it's not just a flat colour. They are really, they just act like watercolours. So, um, but it's all good practice for me because I really want to get better with, with using paint brushes, whichever medium. Um, so, yeah, that was a nice one to do. I enjoyed doing the fox gloves. And I can see that I've missed, missed some bits. So, the co common occurring thing, that. So, there's that one. So also um, from Clara McCover. So this one here is Fairy Celebrations. And I completed this one. I'm really happy with this one. So I did get inspiration from the um, front cover. And um, I used Neo Colours for the background. And then I used Prisma colours and Polychromos. I also used one of the um, Mellow colours um, for the um, Pentel Hybrid. Um, it is a little bit patchy, but I think that's probably me. Um, I, I remember adding it when it was quite late, so the lighting wasn't wasn't brilliant. But I'm really happy with this page. I really like it. So there's that one. So the next one is Tenderful Enchantments. This is also by Clara Macova. And I did this page. So again, the background I did with, yeah, so I did it with Neo Colours and then I went over it in pencil and I used Prisma Colours for the rest of it. Um, the grass, so this was my first, I did this page before the one in um, Romantic Country and I can see that I've still got like white space and stuff. Um, so I think really I, I'm, I am going to continue doing the um, watercolour as a base and then going over it because I think it has overall a better effect. I used some of the um, Arteza gel pens on this one um, just for some just for some accents. So that was a really nice one today. So I've got a couple of more. So this one here is by Hannah Carlson. I believe this is the Seasons book. And I did this one. So... <laughs> So this one here, um, I actually did it for, so um, the Colour Cave, Gem from the Colour Cave, um, it was her uh, grandmother's 98th birthday and she wanted to, she wanted some um, messages of happy well wishes um, for her grand's birthday and she had this idea to get people to, to do, to do a page for her. So I thought this would be a really nice one to do. <laughs> I did, I used the stress inks completely for the background and um, I tried to spray the water on it and then take some of it off and I ended up adding more distress ink before it fully dried. So there are some patches, which is, you know, is completely my error. Um, so, but yeah, it was a really nice one to do. 
Um, I used polychromos for this one and I also used um, Mm, I think this is KJ Designs. Um, yeah, I think I've used one of the colours from here. Yeah. So, really nice one to do. Enjoyed that one. And I just added happy um, 90th birthday, Jesse, on there. So, that was a nice one. So the last one, I think it was my first attempt at doing skin tone for a while. Um, and I did the nameplate page. So, oh, I don't know whether I said this is Spirit Animals by Hannah Carlson. So I used all polychromos for this one. And uh, yeah, I mean, I am, I'm really proud of myself because actually this was... Um, something hair skin and fur are really not my strong points so to pick this page I think it was quite brave of me so um I did enjoy doing it um I do like the result I, I, there's there's room for improvement there but it was a nice one to do so there's that one so thank you very much for watching my completed pages I'm very much aware that um I have done um have completed pages of my entire collection and I still have got another part to get out to you um so I am working on that one um yeah my my nails are now almost um shellac free um so I managed to pick it off <laughs> so um, yeah thank you very much for watching and I shall see you soon take care bye